It's easy to assume Dark Souls and its 2009 predecessor Demon Souls came out of nowhere. The games took huge risks, boldly breaking away from the trend of modern hand-holding action RPGs. But the Souls series' unique approach to combat and exploration was actually more than a decade in the making, dating back to the very first game from software ever made. This is the secret origin of Dark Souls. Before From Software became famous for its difficult action RPGs, the modest Shibuya-based company got its start in 1986 developing business applications. It wasn't until almost a decade later, with the debut of the Sony PlayStation, that From Software made its first attempt to break into the game industry with a clunky, real-time, low-poly 3D action RPG called Kingsfield. Kingsfield differed wildly from most Japanese RPGs of the era. Games like Final Fantasy VI released the same year, featured compelling characters, turn-based combat, and charming 16-bit pixel art. Kingsfield, on the other hand, was a relatively unpolished first-person RPG set in a series of drab, gray dungeons. Combat was challenging and exploration was critical, but potentially lethal. These elements would go on to become hallmarks of From Software's now-beloved formula. Tough RPGs and dungeon crawlers were by no means invented by Kingsfield. Building on decades of tabletop gaming, one of the most pivotal early RPGs was 1981's Wizardry. It was so massively influential in Japan that two of its biggest fans went on to create the Dragon Quest series. Several other Japanese RPGs of the era borrowed heavily from Wizardry and the equally influential Ultima. But in the ever-branching web of influence that made up early JRPGs, Kingsfield went down an entirely different path. The most direct inspiration for Kingsfield probably came from 1992's Ultima Underworld, one of the earliest first-person RPGs to be set in a fully 3D environment. From Software made four principal Kingsfield games, and the influence each had on the gameplay and atmosphere of Dark Souls is obvious. But there are other, more tantalizing connections as well. Take the Moonlight Sword, for instance, which would later appear in several more From Software games. There's even a nod to it across From Software's mech action series, Armored Core. Illusory Walls appeared as early as Kingsfield 1, but became much more common in its sequel. Kingsfield also features a white dragon named Seath, directly referenced later in Dark Souls. Even the end of the first Kingsfield mirrors the tragic cycle of rekindling the flame in Dark Souls. You seal the door to the dark world and save the day, but a text scroll preceding the credits warns that eventually someone will inevitably come along and open it up again. Kingsfield provided a framework that From Software would continue to build on for decades. 1998's Shadow Tower, another first-person action RPG, introduced an unforgiving stamina bar, equipment weight, and durability ratings for your gear. Narrative writing found around the world calls to mind the messages you can leave for other players in Demon Souls onward. But Shadow Tower's most striking element in the context of the Souls lineage was the introduction of shields that you had to manually raise to block attacks. Despite the growing success of From Software's mech combat games, the studio continued to return to fantasy RPGs through the PlayStation 2 era. 2003's Shadow Tower Abyss was the moodiest of their early games with a dark and dreary atmosphere that began to more closely resemble the miserable worlds of the Souls games. Strangely, the fantasy-themed Shadow Tower Abyss takes place in the modern day and starts the player out with an M1911 handgun. The introduction of dual wielding allowed you to equip both a firearm and melee weapon at the same time, an idea that would be revisited in 2015's Bloodborne. FromSoft busied itself for several years, making modest hits like Lost Kingdoms and Chrome Hounds. Finally, Demon Souls burst onto the scene in 2009 on the PlayStation 3. It was a product of the old-school game design philosophy FromSoft had spent 15 years perfecting. But before it thrust From Software into stardom, Demon Souls was actually a failing project. Then Hidetaka Miyazaki came into the picture. Miyazaki, whose name is practically synonymous with the Souls series, got his start at From Software in 2004, working on Armored Core. 
As an avid reader of fantasy, the opportunity to design a game in his favorite genre excited him. Miyazaki's direction brought vision and cohesion to Demon Souls. He took the formula that had powered King's Field and Shadow Tower and elevated it to serve a new, more sophisticated generation of games. From Software's goal was to keep Demon's Souls as close to its roots in early RPGs and old-school gamebooks as possible. Demon's Souls intelligently built on these elements, as well as the ones gradually introduced by From's body of work, with the same weighty, shield-based combat and emphasis on thorough exploration. But Miyazaki's love for moody and mysterious games like Eco and the dark mature fantasy of Berserk brought a bold new sense of imagination to these founding principles. Demon's Souls was a huge surprise hit. FromSoft's Souls formula was officially on its way to becoming a worldwide phenomenon. In 2011, Dark Souls was released to massive critical and commercial success, with Miyazaki once again at the helm. Dark Souls was a spiritual successor to Demon's Souls, adding elements that would become known as hallmarks of the franchise. Humanity, Halloween, Estus, Bonfires, a more interwoven world, and an incredibly deep, complicated story. FromSoft has released two Dark Souls sequels, along with the gothic spin-off Bloodborne. All three have been massive hits, and Miyazaki has risen to president of From Software. FromSoftware's principles have rarely wavered in the two decades it's been making games. The studio's dedication to a game design philosophy that prioritizes challenge, reward, exploration, and skill can be seen in both the Dark Souls of today and the King's Fields of generations past. The recent renaissance of tough but fair games is a testament to the power of the formula from software has created. But if we are to truly appreciate that magic, we can't neglect where it came from. If you love Dark Souls as much as us and learn something new, please be sure to share this video with your friends. Then watch one IGN noob become a champion in our Let's Play series Prepare to Try. Or take a trip behind the scenes in IGN's Making of Bloodborne and Making of Dark Souls 2. For all things Dark Souls, stay tuned to IGN.